Hey guys, last video and here we cover all about the qualification process of your home. Remember at the beginning that we mentioned three specific steps that you need to navigate through for you to qualify uh, yourself, your home, and the two of you into our Rocky Mountain uh, grid system. It's not our Rocky Mountain, it's you guys. <laughs> all right, but let's put it right here, okay? Some people ask me, Hey Chris, how much is this gonna cost me? Okay, they're not cost. It's all about qualification. So some people would say, hey, when are you gonna ask me to swipe my credit card for a potential uh, breaker box upgrade? Like, does the consultation have any cost? Can I cancel it? And have all these concerns. We want you to have all the information. That's what we're doing in this video. We want you to have the information specific about your home because that would be the best research. You look into the company, you look into who we are, and you learn to, to trust and we'll build that, uh, that information that you need to have uh, from us, right? But what does it take? What's the catch? How much does it cost? That's the big word. As long as you qualify, you would have a cheaper bill that is fixed and is protected for the next 20 years, all right? So let's talk about these three steps. The first one, uh, so step number one, two, and three, okay? The first one is all about you. Why do we have to qualify you? Because this is a bill. The day that you set up an account with Rocky Mountain Power, they ask you for your date of birth and your social. They credit qualify you. Oh, this person, this homeowner pays their bill, and then therefore you have an account with them. We do exactly the same. Who pays for all the project? We have two uh, bank partners, right? And then we can get you qualified with a good credit uh, FICA score of 640 and above. Everyone is welcome. How are we doing in that department? Do you think that you have a 640 and higher? Do you pay your bills? And then that'll be the, the first check mark for us to walk you through this process. The other thing that I want to make super clear and specific like, I don't have a say on this process. It's all about you, your home, and the two of you qualifying into the grid system. So once we know that you have a good credit, um, we are going to qualify your home, okay? And the first way that we do it, this is our homework, this is our work, there's no cost involved into this, is just to look for, we call it sun hours, all right? What does that mean? Do you get three to six hours on a daily basis of sunshine on your roof. That would help us to see if if, it's, if your roof is creating the energy that we need or receiving the light that we need for us to justify what we're spending on, right? Um, but all the houses are, are different. The best thing to do is have us come over and do this study where we're gonna take a look at your roof, the obstructions, the shade, the weather pattern, and all that we're gonna put it all into the same pot and cook it all together just to tell you how much sunlight there's year around, okay? Once we figure that out, we look into the structure of your home, okay? And here, there are two main reasons as, we, uh, as to why we're gonna look into your attic, into uh, how old your roof is, and the life left your shingles would have, right? Also, the electrical panels. We want to make sure that in your home, you have what it takes for us to integrate solar in a safe way. Second reason, we want to provide you with a peace of mind because homeowner would say, hey, you're messing with my, with my asset. This is my largest asset. We do get it. We do understand that we're doing that. So at the same time, hey, you have what it takes for solar to go on your roof and we have what it takes for us to provide the peace of mind that we're doing it right by your asset. That's what homeowners wants to know, all right? Once you qualify for the roof, the attic, the breaker box, the meter outside, uh, uh, we need a copy of your bill where the graph is for us to know what to design for. It'll tell us, hey, I don't know if you're using 5,000 kilowatt hours of energy on a yearly basis or kilowatt hours, right? Uh, we need to know that. So eventually at, in, in our appointment, we'll ask you, hey, we need a copy of the little graph for us to know what to design to, all right? But once you pass this, this much, 
the, by the way, the structure, someone from our company would come over and they will assess your home. We'll set that up uh, as we're navigating through the process, yo. Okay, so once we pass this, our next step is just to move all this project into engineering. Why do we do that, okay? Engineering. Because you could qualify, check mark, your home could qualify, and here we're committed to move this project in design and engineering plan, and we have to work with homeowners association, township, county, and more importantly, the engineering department for Rocky Mountain Power, they need to know the following, and we want to know the following, and of course, you want to know the following. The third step and most important is we need to qualify you into the grid system, but what are we qualifying you for, okay? It's called space, all right? We need to know if that transformer, that little green box that is outside, that people put butch on us, butches on it just to cover it, or if you're connected to a power uh, post and has that little round battery shape, uh, that's a transformer, is the last step on the grid. When you are uh, producing, especially in the summer, you're producing way more than what you need. What happened, what happened all this excess of energy goes into your meter, now you have a net meter system that is cranking backwards, you're getting credits, okay? And this energy goes back to that transformer and that transformer has only certain space available. So here I wanna be clear, I've been in uh, markets such as Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and Maryland, where their areas, it's plastered with it's bananas, with solar panels. So first come, first serve, when it comes to the space available uh, with that transformer. That's why not everyone is gonna qualify to go into that system. That's why like uh, some people that might wait three years, maybe we might not have a space or Rocky Mountain doesn't have a space on that transformer for the space requirement for you to back feed electricity, right? So uh, make sure that that doesn't happen to you. And once we clear all, the, all those permits, and then it is the big day, all right? We have an installation day. We have a couple of steps right here that we'll walk you through as, as you are making it to here. Uh, it's just, I'm gonna mention it only, it's just an inspection and then swapping your meter. But this is what we're looking for. Right here, we're almost to the finish line. So we've covered the, the process from beginning to end in terms of how do you qualify, what does it take, what's in it for you, what's for your pocket, if you move and you move frequently, ask questions, and all those things. Now, remember that we have some buttons down this video for you to ask us more questions, if you have more questions that you'd like to address. If you're ready to set up a, a consultation, click on the button and either myself, someone from my team uh, will come over and help you get this process of qualifying uh, qualify your home started. We have as a company another incentive that we can cover as well for the people that we're gonna work with uh, during this month. So it's been a pleasure uh, to, to cover this information with you. Click on the buttons, get us connected, and let's get this rock and roll for you. Good luck, guys.